hello you guys welcome back it has been a hot second since i have filmed a video it's been a month i'm really excited to be back i'm really excited to be filming videos again i have a list of videos that i'm going to be doing these next couple months and into this next year i'm super excited if you've never been to my channel before, hi, hello, my name is Lily, welcome. Uh, on my channel, I have made every kind of content you could think of. I started this channel when I was 12 or 13, 12 years old, and I've been doing it ever since. Anyway, don't want to make this intro too long, but I already filmed this video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I filmed this video a month ago. And then after I filmed this video, I decided to go on a YouTube fast. So I was kind of, you know, getting into a YouTube rut. I did not, did not really have any, like, inspiration and motivation to film videos. Didn't really know what to film. So <clears throat> the Lord kind of was like, just go on a fast in, for the month of January. So... I ended up not uploading any like main videos for the whole month of January. I did not upload that. <gasps> Sorry if you hear dog barking. I live with my in-laws and they have a little dog that's old and she don't know what she wants. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I filmed that video, but then I went on the fast. So then I didn't even end up posing that video until like a until last week well i uploaded the video and i edited it and everything it was all great and dandy and then when i went to upload it i already like deleted the footage on my memory card because i was like i don't need this anymore and i always forget to delete all the footage off my memory card so <clears throat> didn't have the footage anymore and when i went to upload it all of the sound was gone don't know how that happened literally like the sound was there and all good and working when I was editing the video and so I don't know if like through exporting it or what I don't know what happened so I was like you know what I'm just gonna take this as the Lord is telling me to take another week off and to just start fresh so here I am I am filming the same exact video that I, that I was going to upload just a month later so I'm excited about this video but what I did talk about in that video that I did film is that recently I have been changing my whole life has been changing um, in really really good ways I have never felt more excited and passionate and spirit-filled before I feel like this year is just such a crucial and critical year and i've always felt like 2023 was always going to be like a massive year for me and like myself and for like my life god has not uh delayed he has not started off slow we've been hit, hitting the ground running since january in my personal life um i have really been diving deep into what is called pro-metabolic health or ancestral eating and so it's a very natural way of eating and living it's a whole lifestyle it is something that not a lot of people know about and something that is just honestly something that i fell in love with and i've been learning so much and through that the lord has been teaching me so much and then through that i just feel like a lot of people I've been able to connect with a lot of people and a lot of people have been inspiring me and the body of Christ has really been working together and I've been loving it. So with that being said, if you guys are interested at all in, sorry, my husband's taking out the dog, but if you're at all interested in me maybe filming some of those videos talking about that new lifestyle natural living and all that kind of stuff please let me know uh i actually don't even let me know because i'm gonna do it anyway i decided i'm gonna do it anyway and i really hope it reaches people and 
really brings light to some people and so I will be changing on my content a little bit but what's new I'm always changing on my content I'm always revamping my channel so let's just go for it 2023 I'm just going for it I'm just doing it and I always have super long intros so let me just get into it so this video is obviously about the books that I'm reading in 2023 so this is something that I've never done before because I never have been one to read books I was never a bookworm I never really enjoyed reading and so obviously I never needed to film this video but this year as I said a lot of things are ch changing happening whatever this year I am really diving in and doing a lot of preparation and really just wanting to be very knowledgeable about the things that I'm passionate about. And so this year I really wanted to read a book a month and it's something that I've always been wanting, been wanting to do but have not done it. And so far we're in February and we've already read one book and I'm reading my second book of the year and I'm already halfway done with it. So it's gone good, but I had to change some things in my life. I'm actually reading during my lunch break, which is, a, which is an hour. So instead of like watching Netflix or whatever, like I'm dedicating that time to read. The books that I'm going to be sharing about, if you've never been to my channel before, you're probably like, so is she pregnant? What's up? I'm not pregnant. I definitely am not pregnant because I just ended my period. The reason why all of these books are about pregnancy, labor and delivery, all that kind of stuff is because if you've been to my channel before, you know that I am very passionate about the woman body and I have always really wanted to have a natural birth. It's just been something that I've always wanted. You know, I've always thought about that since like being a young girl um, or like learning about the woman body. My grandma, my mom, my great grandma all had natural births. And so just something that I've been wanting to do. In preparation for having kids, I wanted to be as knowledgeable as possible. I really, really wanted to gain understanding and l know as much as I can. And so I'm very passionate about these things. And some people are gonna be like, these are books seem boring. I don't wanna read these, like I don't even care. That's fine. It's just something that I'm passionate about and something that I'm excited about. So with that being said, I'm not pregnant, but I want to read these books in preparation to really get my mind and my body ready and full of encouragement and not anxiousness um, and stuff like that. So. If you're confused and wondering why is she reading these books, that's why. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So in January, I ended up reading the book called Expectant. So this book was so, so good. It was It's a Christian-based book. It's basically a great preparation book to getting pregnant or prior to getting pregnant. Um, this one really just talked a lot about like your mind and how to have a God glorifying pregnancy and it really just like the Lord spoke to me through that book and I really enjoyed it. It was a great first book to start reading for this year and it just really put like the spiritual perspective on like pregnancy and even talks about like pregnancy and marriage and pregnancy and um, how you can be a blessing to others while pregnant and stuff like that. So February I am reading it starts with the egg so this one is a fertility book so this is really going into how to efficiently get pregnant and also what causes infertility what causes um, miscarriages what causes these things and so I just really like wanted to get knowledgeable on those things because even though you know like I trust God and I trust that he will protect my body and protect my baby and all that kind of stuff but I really wanted to understand and know why like some why some people go through these things and it's really like so discouraging and sad to me and makes me like question and so I 
really wanted to just get some more knowledge about that stuff and this book has been great and I'm halfway through it already um, it is more geared towards women who have infertility problems but I just figured like why not read it and really like get an understanding of like how to prevent it but also like maybe how to help women who are going through that or just know like the why behind those things next in March we're getting into childbirth I'm excited March is gonna be childbirth without fear this one is not a Christian based book but it is just obviously talking about childbirth and really just getting rid of the fear within birth I think a lot of women the reason why they don't know a lot about birth is because they're so afraid of it and they don't research it and you know within like you know the medical industry I just feel like there's just the stigma stigma of like birth you just have to get through it like it's not you know a fun experience it's painful blah 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 blah. so there's just a lot of fear based around it and I just really want to break that off and like that's why I'm starting so early before I'm even pregnant so that I can really like get so used to birth and learning about it and knowing about it and really just filling up my brain that I'm not even going to be scared when it happens. I'm actually excited. I'm going to be excited and I'm already excited. I haven't even like started really reading these books, but I follow a lot of like Instagram accounts and stuff like that. So yeah, April, this one is, I'm excited for this one. This one's a naturally healthy babies and children. So with all this new health stuff that I've been diving into, I really want to learn about how food affects children and babies and their brains and their development and all that kind of stuff because really what you put in is what's going to help them develop and grow and so I really am passionate about learning about that and really how food affects our body is just so interesting to me so I'm going to be reading that one I'm really excited about that um May is going to be more geared towards around parenting things i wish i'd known before we became parents this one this author is actually the author who wrote the seven love languages book i don't know if any of you have read that one but i'm excited about this one because may is our um anniversary month and so i really wanted to maybe like read something with jack and so that we could kind of you know be in the loop together and really prepare mentally for that and so i think this will be a really good one to read together and to just kind of defocus like labor and all that stuff and kind of focus on the marriage aspect because that's very important more important than the labor and delivery and then june is going to be brain health this is a really popular one this is geared towards again like the brain development in a baby and all that kind of stuff i think it even starts from before conception or like right after conception so i'm excited about that and then july and august are both these are both christian based birth books so the june is good or july is going to be redeeming birth so i'm really excited about this a redeeming childbirth it's going to be um just really putting the spiritual perspective on it and that's why i'm reading these books a little bit later in the year because i really want to have these things fresh in my mind for when i do become pregnant and obviously while i'm pregnant like reading these books and you know really getting in tune with the spirit because ultimately God is going to be the one to get you through birth. Some people could say otherwise, but that is my perspective is like, I want to lean on the spirit to help me. So, and then August is going to be supernatural childbirth. And this one is, I think more of a popular one. This one I'm excited about as well. Kind of same deal. It's more geared towards how the Lord made our bodies to give birth and how we can do it in a way that's glorifying to God and God can help us through it. September, um, I'm going to do another like marriage focused book which is when to become three so this is not a christian book but again just going to kind of help jack and i prepare for becoming parents as you can tell i'm a very prepared person i like to be prepared so that's why you know i like to have as much knowledge and preparation as i can i know that obviously i cannot prepare completely to become a parent or to give birth but I just I am passionate about it I love it and I want to know and I want to have the knowledge and so that's just me but if that's not you that's totally fine October 
we're going to step away from the childbirth and birthing books and we're going to be reading Delight Your Husband. Or me, not we, as in me and Jack, but me. This is just one more geared towards just me personally and how I can serve Jack, love Jack, and um, this is a Christian book too. This, spill in the tea, sis. This is, as of right now, the month that we went to uh, first try to make a baby. Yeah, that is the plan um, with all this preparation and stuff. Who knows, it might happen that that month or it might not. But, you know, ultimately, like, as I said, I am preparing as much as possible. But I do always want to keep in mind that the Lord has his own plan and his own timing. And if it doesn't happen, then, like, it's okay. And, you know, the Lord will do what he wants to do and he will you know help and he will give us a child when he wants to and so i'm trying not to just like completely put my whole heart and soul into thinking that we're going to get pregnant then but if we do great if we don't that's all right we trust in the lord and we know that his timing is perfect so and then november so this is a good like segue into if i am pregnant is nurture and nurture is kind of just like again nurturing your body preparing your body for like what is to come and i don't believe this is a christian book but um it was a good like starting off pregnancy book so i decided um but if i'm not pregnant at that time i can also still read that book too and then i did want to talk about the books that i have already picked out that i want to read during my pregnancy so i'll go ahead and just share that with you guys so all throughout my pregnancy I, of course, want to be journaling and reading devotionals and praying, of course, obviously. But um, I did find two, like, little journals and, like, things that I could read all throughout the pregnancy. So one is pregnancy day by day, day by day. So this one seems like I could just read this, like, once a day. Just kind of, like, read it before bed or in the morning or whatever. Um, and it kind of just showing you step by step, like, how your baby is growing, what your baby looks like at which stage and stuff like that so i thought that would be cool and then the other one is the natural mama so this one i'm excited about this one is kind of like how to have a natural pregnancy how to do things naturally how to feed the baby good things what to feed the baby um while the baby's in your womb all that kind of stuff and um natural like herb remedies and stuff like that because i'm trying to go as you could probably tell, as natural as possible during my pregnancy. So I think that would be a good book. And it's like a journal, the Natural Mama Journal. So, or the Mama Natural Journal. So I did just pick out books that I wanted to read each month of my pregnancy. So I have nine of them. So the first one is Waiting in Wonder. This one actually is a devotional. So I think this would be a good one for my first month because... If it is a de devotional, like, I know, like, if I'm going to have morning sickness or feel really tired or just, like, but I don't know if I'm going to be wanting to read all the time. Like, if I'm home, I'm probably going to be wanting to sleep. So, I think, but I also love doing my quiet time. So, I think this would be good to just kind of do, like, you know, do it in the morning. Really get some encouragement and stuff like that. Two is Joyful in Divine Childbirth. I, this is a um, Christian-based childbirth book, so I think this one would be really great to just really keep the Lord at the center. That's really my goal when I do become pregnant is to keep the Lord at the center of my pregnancy. And like I've even really wanting been I even I even really want to like write scriptures out like all throughout my house, like in my kitchen, in my bathroom, all that kind of stuff, to really just be joyful and to have a joyful and um grateful heart even when you know i'm sure times are rough i really want to keep that attitude of gratefulness and joy and gratitude uh the third month will be ina may's guide to childbirth this is a classic my mom read this book when she was pregnant with uh me or my brother this is a one that's been around for a long time so i'm excited to read this classic one i think she has it so i might just take it from her number four month four happy with baby this is again another marriage one um as you can tell i'm very very passionate about keeping our marriage very healthy and 
um, keeping our marriage first because obviously marriage, if your marriage is not first, then other things start to fall apart. Even though I'm passionate about, you know, the birth and like myself being healthy, like I really, that is the number one priority is for like our marriage to be good. Five is going to be childbirth without fear. Again, I re I'm reading that this year, but I mean, I could read another book if I didn't want to, if I didn't really like that one a lot, like I could read a different book, but month six, 12 hours sleep by 12 weeks old. I'm really going to be reading a lot of books about baby sleep and their rhythms and all that kind of stuff because your girl needs her sleep. But also, that's every parent's struggle, I understand. But I really just want to know, like, the why. That's my whole thing. I want to know the why behind everything. I want to know how things could get better, how it could, you know, improve, all that kind of stuff, and just the science behind those things. And obviously, the Lord can sustain, can provide, and he can give you the energy that you need even if you have two hours of sleep. Amen. Number seven, or month seven, will be Ina May's Guide to Breastfeeding. This one, I want to read right now, but um, breastfeeding, I feel like, is an art from what I've been hearing. I feel like breastfeeding is really, like, it's not difficult because, like, God obviously created you to feed your child, but I feel like there's a lot of complications that come with it, so I really want to get knowledgeable about that. That's why I kind of put it later on in my pregnancy. Um, number eight, or month eight, The Baby Sleep Solution. Again, another sleeping one. I'm sure probably some of these books will repeat others, but I, as I always say, like, I feel like the Lord really speaks through other people and what better way is it for the Lord to speak than through authors and through people who have, you know, learned things and not, and even though like some of these books aren't Christian based, like I feel like I can get something out of each person because each person has a different perspective. I really want to, you know, even though some of these are like kind of repetitive and then you're like, you literally read three books that are the same thing, but like, I just feel like every author brings something different to the table, something new. You know, I have spiritual perspective. I have science perspective. I can kind of give and grab and take what I want from each thing. So that's why I'm reading a lot of the similar books. I mean, there's no harm in it, right? Month nine, the last month, I can probably go through my books and, you know, read the ones that I really like. But I really want to not focus on reading as much, but I want to focus on putting together scriptures and going over notes and getting everything ready, really and going to be in nesting mode at that point. And something that I really, really want to do is have like a scripture notebook or have scriptures to print out to place like on the walls while I am laboring, because I think that is going to be something that is going to be crucial. I'm probably going to get one of the um, birthing, um, not classes, but um, there's like this Christian hypnobirthing that you can like um, buy that you can play while you're laboring um, that basically just reads scripture to you and like really helps you meditate on the word. When you say think of hypnobirthing, you think like that's hippity dippity like weird stuff, but it's not like they just need to change the name. It's really just ba based on the word and really helping you just be grounded in the Lord and helping him helping you through it. So I'll probably be doing that. There's like also courses like pain-free childbirth course and stuff like that that I might do. But through reading these books and stuff, I feel like just I will really need to be reminded of like scripture and stuff like that. So probably I'll do like the Christian hypnobirthing and then like really want to just meditate on scripture and have it read, read to me and stuff like that. That's it. So Obviously, I make my own plans. I have this whole plan, but we all know that sometimes that's not really what actually happens. Like, the Lord has his own timing and his own plans. So, nonetheless, I can still read these books and prepare myself and really have him help me and prepare me as well. Prepare my heart, my mind, my body, all that stuff. So, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I have a lot of videos coming out, well, once a week. But every week I am 
pre-planning and praying over and so excited to be sharing with you guys and yeah stay tuned for my new content for the things that I'm super excited to share about and if you have not followed me on Instagram make sure to do so because I'm active on there every single day posting reels and and stories and all that kind of stuff so yeah but I love you guys so much thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys